Hey guys, so in this video we're going to use basic derivative rules and we're going to look at an example of finding tangent lines perpendicular to like other given lines. So I'll just show you the example. So we're going to find all points on this function x over x minus 2 where the tangent lines are perpendicular to this guy right here. Okay, so obviously we've got to take a derivative first, so I'm just going to start there. So to take the derivative of this guy, we're going to have to use quotient rule. So quotient rule, first I take the derivative of the top, which would just be 1, and then I multiply that by the bottom, and then I subtract that, I leave the top function alone, and I multiply that by the derivative of the bottom, which would just be 1, and then I divide all of that by the denominator squared. So first, let's just get this all nice and simplified. So this becomes x minus 2 minus x over x minus 2 squared. So ultimately, it looks like my derivative will just be, what, negative 2 over x minus 2 squared? Okay, so there's our derivative. So now I've got to think about this, this other information, perpendicular to y equals uh, 2x plus 7. So just to give myself a little more space, so perpendicular to this equation, and this was the derivative that we just found. Okay, so let's think about what it means to be perpendicular. So to be perpendicular, you have to be the negative or opposite reciprocal. So if I want a tangent line that's perpendicular to this, the slope of this would be 2. So the slope that we need would be negative 1 half. That is the slope that we need our tangent lines to have if we want those tangent lines to be perpendicular. Okay, so this is the value that I want my tangent line to take. And remember, the whole thing about the derivative, right, it's the slope at a point. So this is the, this is the value of that slope at the point. Here's how I would normally get to it, but I don't have that x. So what I want to do is I want to set these two things equal. So I've got negative 2 over x minus 2 squared. This is going to equal negative 1 half. And so now I'm just going to go through, you know, all the steps to like solve this. So first I'll start by, let's see, I will multiply both sides by negative 2 times x minus 2 squared. So I'll do this over here too, negative 2 times x minus 2 squared. So I'm basically just multiplying by all the, the, the denominators. So here my x minus 2's cancel out, and then here my negative 2's cancel out. So let's see, it looks like I will be just left with then 4 equals x minus 2 squared. And so that that is in the format of something where we can use the square root property. So to solve this, I take the square root of each side. So I get x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 4. So just a reminder, so when you take the square root, you have to have this plus or minus in front. That's just how the square root property works. So now to finish solving this, let's see. Um, I'm going to erase this so that I have a little more room. Okay, so now I've got x minus 2 equals plus or minus 2. So I can just break this up into x minus 2 equals 2. So if I add 2 to each side, I get x equals 4, or x minus 2 equals negative 2, and so then if I add 2 to each side, I get x equals 0. Okay, 4 and 0. Am I done? Let's read this again. Find all points, not quite. I have the x-coordinates, I don't have the points. So now I just need to take those two points, so I'll take a little more space. Okay, so, so now I've got this point and then I've got these two functions. So th I'm I'm showing you this because I think this is actually a really common like issue that students aren't sure about. So the question here says to find all points on the function. So sometimes people look at this and go, oh, I've got the function and the derivative. This is not what I want to find the points on, right? So I just wanted to point out like if you weren't sure, this is not. Now we are referring back to the original function. So to finish this, to finish this, I'm going to just plug in these numbers. So this will be 4 over 4 minus 2. So this is 4 over 2. So this will be 2. So this is the point 4, 2. There's one point. And then for f of 0, this gives me 0 over 0 minus 2. So this just equals 0. So this is the point 0, 0. And so now this point and this point, those are my answers. And so now I'm all good to go. If you found that helpful, please consider giving this video a like or subscribing to the channel. And otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.